Finally tonight, it is among the most widely recognized paintings in the world, right up there with the Mona Lisa. The scream depicts a human figure on a bridge under a red sky, shrieking in fear or despair. And Seth Doan reports one version of it is up for auction tonight. Sue Prideaux will be in the room tonight when the scream is auctioned. She wrote a biography of Edvard Munch the Norwegian artist who created this multi-million dollar masterpiece. It just seems like a, a crazy sum of money. If you look at the billionaires, there's any number of private islands they can buy, private jets, private yachts. There's only one scream. <laughs> at least it's the only one that'll ever be for sale. Three others hang in museums. Monk created this pastel on board in 1895. He was in great pain. A love affair had just ended, and he'd visited his sister in an Oslo insane asylum when he found himself at this fjord. And he had this vision that the sky turned to blood and he had a great scream through nature. Here's this kind of amorphous, amoeba-like, androgynous character. It evokes a feeling even if we can't quite put our finger on it. I think that's a very important part of it because you can relate to it whether you're old, young, male, female, and the extraordinary thing of the skull beneath the skin. You know, we all know we have that skull, don't we? It's inspired countless pop culture knockoffs, from the Wes Craven movie to the Homer Simpson poster. There aren't many works of art that are, that are blow up dolls, are there? New York art dealer David Nash says the piece could sell for much higher than its auction estimate of 80 to 150 million dollars. A dealer used to say, you can always remake the money you can never remake the painting. And for tonight, the auctioneer shopped it around the world, going all out to get the best price. Sotheby's presented it in London like a jewel in a black velvet room. The presence that that painting has, you could just gaze at it for hours and hours. Presence at a price that precious few could afford. Seth Doan, CBS News, New York.